again, I refer to this painting by Magritte. It says in French, beneath the pipe, this is not a pipe. Essentially, all art is abstract. When you're confronted with abstraction, you try to, it's like looking at the clouds. You go, oh, that cloud looks like Mickey Mouse. It's the same way when you look at abstraction. While a picture can give us an image of the way the world looks, abstraction can kind of help us see how the world feels. I feel like abstraction is a visual language where each artist creates their own vocabulary. Pure abstraction is just simply lines, color, texture. Referential abstraction is a painting or a sculpture or a print which refers to something the subject is abstracted. But it's, uh, but it's still, you can tell what, what it refers to. And historically, it's been reductive abstraction. So you abstract from the world, which means you take something and then you reduce it to find a kind of truth in it. Well, I have had a problem understanding what is meant by abstraction anyway. But there's also non-objective painting. And my argument is no paintings are non-objective. To me, abstraction is that kind of surrendering to the unknown and just accepting that, you know, you can pretend to be in control as much as you want, but it's, it's always nature, it's always the universe, whatever you want to call it. An additive abstraction, you don't start with the world. You take parts of the world and you bring them together, and then you see what's possible in those things coming together. So the abstraction happens prior to the making. I always thought there had been enough people painting people. So when I started making art, I tried to make nonverbal communication. Everything in my life, the way I see is, to me, is uh, abstract. It depends how you see, how you define. Robert Irwin said, seeing is forgetting the name of what one sees. A lot of what I do is a distillation of ideas, qualities and characteristics with material or a site or a particular experience. That term has a different meaning to me in that I'm, I've been trying for years to make the most realistic sculpture I can, but it's called abstract and, or non-objective. It's real materials, it's real form, it's real space. It's as real as I can make it. <laughs>